that all Jews, there, are, there will be no Jew that will come to Christ. But for the most part, the overwhelming majority of, of Jews in, uh, in the world are not going to come. That's what the Bible says. But what do they do? They went to, well, what about DNA and this and that in the Bible? All right. My goodness. <clears throat> That's all it took for that. 30 seconds, right? That's all it took. Let's go back. This guy, man, he doesn't he clearly doesn't understand. Now, again, <laughs> it only took 30 seconds. And you should already realize this dude's going off. He doesn't have a beard, right? He doesn't understand the scriptures. He thinks he does, right? And, and you know, his head's shaven and all that. He looks like he's in a stupor. It's just complete madness. All right. First and foremost, giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Baha Sham, Yahweh Shai, Baha Sham, Rakaha Kwadash. Double honors to the men who rule well. Healthy Shalom to the brothers that are out there doing the work in truth and sincerity. Now, this guy, you know, he goes into speaking Yiddish and he, you know, he, he just, you just, you just heard what he said. He's a, the, most of the, most of the J E U U U's, right? Are not going to come to Christ. And who, who's Christ? Christ is the title. That's another thing. The scripture talks about his men shall know he manifested his, his name to his prophets, man. Okay? So there, there's really a whole lot to unpack in this just little two-minute video. A whole lot to unpack. Because they call themselves, you know, call themselves defending the gospel when they're really defending Christianity. When they're really defending Esau Edom's way of thinking. Everybody can be saved. Uh, uh, he's done away, done away with the law. It, it, uh, it, you know, it doesn't matter who you are. All they got to do is turn to uh, 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 the, the C word, turn to JC and they shall be saved. The Gentiles and the, and the, and the uh, J-E-U-U-U's, he didn't mention no other tribe. You remember Jacob is the progenitor of the 12 tribes of Israel. He said all 12 tribes. What? All 12 tribes. Uh, what? 12,000, you know, from each tribe will be saved 12,000 the elect the scriptures go into the elect it ain't talking about every damn tom dick and harry out there it ain't talking about pookie uh Ramondo and ray ray and jose no chief running bull no it's talking about the elect all right so the first thing he said was is uh you know the the he's talking about when he's when he's talking about the j-e-u-u-u's the is people the 1948ers He's talking about them damn people over there that's imposters in our land right now. That's who he's talking about. Okay? That's why he don't mention no other tribes. See, the, see these, these guys, these, the Christianity has, is completely bugged out. It's just gone, man. It's dungy, baby. All right? See what he said first. Oh, yeah, he talking about, you know, the, you know, you heard what I said. Zechariah 13 and verse 8. See, it's in the scriptures. When you, when you, the scripture said, uh, lean not into thy own understanding, but seek the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. All right? He's the one that gives you the understanding. Matter of fact, he gives you the download while you sleep on what you're going to do the next day on every single word, every single breath, every single uh, smell, taste, and touch. You know, but he don't know that. Why? Because he's, he's in a stupor. He's a sodest child. He's sodest child, man. Zechariah 13 and verse 8. It shall come to pass that in the land, saith the Lord, Yahweh, that's his name, two parts therein, that's two thirds, which is a bigger number than one third, shall be cut off and die. But the third shall be left therein. Now, who's this talking about? This ain't talking about everybody. It's not talking about uh, uh, those who come to those who come to Christ. That's not what it's talking about. It's always talking about the Israelites. Whether Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai has scattered us to the four corners of the earth. There's so many scriptures we could go into uh, 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 the Book of Nahum, the third chapter, uh, 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 Psalms 147, verse 19 through 20, uh, 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 Joel 2 and verse 27. Um, I mean, you know, where, where can uh, Romans 11 and verse 7, Romans uh, uh, the, the ninth chapter? I mean, come on, man. You know, it's, it's so many scriptures. Uh, uh, second Ezra 6 and verse 54 through 59. We can get all those scriptures. Let's continue on. And I'm going to play. I don't want to really show his face no more because he gets on my nerves. That dude gets on my nerves, man. You know, and then here it is. They they, uh, they go and talk about uh, the Hebrew Israelites, the Hebrew Israelites. 
You're going you're gonna to see what he says right here. I'm going to play just a little bit more. Matthew 12 and verse 50. By the way, I got that video from the elder Karat Dezakba in, uh, in Baltimore. Shalom to the elder. All right. This is red letters right here. For whosoever shall do the will of my father, which is in heaven, the same is my brother and my sister and my mother. That's who it's talking about. It's talking about the Israelites. It ain't talking about no damn dirty uh, devils. It ain't talking about no damn Hamites, you know, is going around eating uh, 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 inward parts of animals and monkeys and, you know, whatever the hell. It ain't talking about no Edomites. It ain't talking about uh, Amalekite that does an uh, oral circumcision. Huh? It ain't talking about you wicked ass two thirds uh, Christianity churches that what? They do all kinds of uh, crazy wickedness, man. Whore, the whorehouses, harlot houses. Matthew 22, verse 29. Hamashiach Yehawashai answered and said to them, Ye do err, not knowing the scriptures, nor the power of the Most High Yahweh. Right? And that's the truth. They do err, not knowing the scriptures. Now, here it is. He's coming up against only the Israelites. Everybody and their mamas coming up against the Hebrew Israelites, not understanding that we are the same people. I don't know what the affinity is with these damn devils. All right, let's continue on. That all Jews, there will be no Jew that will come to Christ. But for the most part, the overwhelming majority of, of Jews in uh, in the world are not going to come. That's what the Bible. That's what the Bible says. Correct. It, it reads that right there in Zechariah the thirteenth chapter. I just read that. It said two thirds shall be cut off and what? Die. They're going to be missile food. I bet he don't know nothing about the ICBMs that are coming neither. Continuing on. Again, it took me 29 seconds. 30, it took me 30 seconds of this guy's random uh, uh, ramblings. What was, that, what was that show? It was a, it was a movie. It, 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 incoherent ramblings and you get, you. I reward you no points. <laughs> All right. Continuing on. Apple says... But what do they do? They went to, well, what about DNA and this and that and the blacks and, and African who were Jews and so forth. That wasn't the point. The point was to say that blacks in America, if they are the real Jews, then why do by and large black people, black people do not reject Christ? It's not to say that black people. What do you mean they don't reject uh, 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 Yahweh Shai? Of course they reject Yahweh Shai. Look at what they do. It's like, Let's read this. Look at what they do. Okay, we'll go here like a wild bull. See, I don't his, his argument. This guy's argument is this. We can't be talking about the so-called black people. Nobody's black. He sh you should already understand that, too. That was invented in uh, was 1681 in Virginia. All right. So lucky if I'm wrong on that. But anyway, let's read this. Well, what what do the uh, uh, the children of Israel do? They rebel against you. How about Shimmy? I was shy. So when he says that blacks don't re they don't reject, they they no, they do reject. And that's why we got in, in this predicament in the first place by worshiping other idols, other gods that are non gods. You see, calling upon Christ, calling upon Jesus. See, or a uh, uh, so rapist Christos. See. Worshiping uh, uh, other idols and go, going a whoring. And that's how we did that. Isaiah 51 and verse 20. Thy sons have fainted. They lie at the head of all the streets as a wild bull in the net. They are full of the fury of the Lord, Yahweh, the rebuke of thy power, man. See, and they act like a bunch of animals. What do you think is these blacks don't reject? Well, of course they reject Yahweh Shai. Not even that. They reject the names. You got a, a main camp. Uh, you know, which is uh, one of the most popular camps on earth that reject the names of Yahweh, Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai. So what the hell is he talking about? All right. You got uh, 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 thoughts. You got uh, three oh foes. Right. You, you got uh, Jake's out there unaliving each other at an alarming rate. Why? Because of the curses. That's how do you know who you are? Because of the curses. I got a couple other clips I could play you. I was going to go into, uh, you know, the northern kingdom. And how the curses are upon them, the curses in, uh, in the book of Deuteronomy 28th chapter. So what the hell is this guy talking about, man? You know, you got uh, twerking in the streets. People are more worried about them uh, uh, eyelashes and, and, and goddamn uh, BBLs than serving Yahweh by Shimmy Yahweh Shai. So this dude is all he's already lost the argument. E even if there was, there ain't no, you can't you can't debate Yahweh by Shimmy Yahweh Shai. That's the whole point. 
And why do these people continue to come up against the Hebrew Israelites? In the meantime, you got uh, you got uh, niggas out there. And when I say niggas, I'm talking about uh, 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 Esau, Edom, the devil the Bible speaks of, uh, wanting to put something all up in your brain, all up in your right hand, all up in your left hand to control you. The scripture tell you in uh, uh, the book of Habakkuk, uh, the second chapter, that he heaped to himself all people. His desire is hell and he cannot, he, he you know, also he what? He uh, uh, says he ain't hated blood, blood shall pursue him. All right. So, I mean, we could go to a million different places. Matter of fact, let's go here. Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter. I mean, all you got to do is read. The, you got All you got to do is read, man. But Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, he shows you and gives you the eye salve and the understanding. Deuteronomy 28, verse 1. And it shall come to pass that if thou, who's thou? The Israelites. It's, it tells you that in a multitude of places. My goodness. If thou shall. The Christianity is bugged the hell out. You know. And, and, I don't know how many scriptures do you have to uh, not uh, uh, just completely uh, ignore? You know what the scripture said right here: the the Gentiles and the and the, and the J E U U U's and, and uh, whoever says the name of Christ, you know, I'm just gonna say it. I hate saying it. The name of Christ shall be saved. But what? Who encompasses that? Who who is that company? That that's the Israelites only. The scripture and it plainly tells you that. And it shall come to pass if thou shalt not hearken diligently. Unto the voice of the Lord Yahweh thy power to observe and to do all his commandments, which I command thee this day, that the Lord Yahweh thy power will set thee on high above all nations. Now, hold on now. That's a distinction right there. All right. The, the scripture, this scripture right here distinctly told you that he will set thee on high above all nations. That means that one nation, you know, one nation of people are going to be above the others since they always were. Matter of fact. Deuteronomy, let's go back to Deuteronomy and let's read Deuteronomy 7 and verse 6. I told you there's so much to unpack. Even in 40, uh, 40 seconds, uh, this dumbass Christian trying to debunk the Hebrew Israelites and you can't do it. You, you can't you cannot do it. It's not possible. Deuteronomy 7 and verse uh, 6, sorry, 7 and verse 6. For thou, who's thou? Art a holy people. Holy means separate. Unto the Lord Yahweh thy power, the Lord Yahweh thy power have chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all people that are on the face of the earth. Who is this talking about? It's talking about the Israelites. So, I mean, he's, he's, he already struck out, man. A strike one, a strike two, and strike three. How many licks does it take to get to the center of a two-zero pop? Let's find out, okay? Let's continue on. <laughs> oh, my goodness, man. This is just madness. I got to get one more. I can't help myself. Flock you. Type that in all kinds of weird. Here we go. Psalms 147, verse 19. He showeth his word unto Jacob. Who is Jacob? Uh uh uh, uh Pastor Mark. You know, I call him Pastor pa, uh, Pastor uh, Mike. That's what his name Mike, Pastor Mike. Who is who's this talking about? I call him Pass the Mike. Because he needs to shut the hell up. He don't know what the hell he's talking about. Psalms 147 verse 19. He showeth his word unto Jacob, his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. Let's, 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 what does verse 20 say? He have not dealt so with any nations. Remember the scripture are comprised of 18 nations. All right. There's 18 nations. Those are different nationalities. Those are different people as a whole. He showeth, he, he has not dealt so with any nation. As for his judgments, they have not known them. Praise ye the Lord, Yahweh. Okay, simple and plain. All right, let's go back here. You know, I may want to save that one up, but right, let's just go to it. Let's go to Joel 2 and verse 27. All right. My goodness. It's not that difficult. Joel 2 and verse 27. And ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel. Who's that? That's the Israelites. That's, that ain't every damn body. That's not every Tom, Dick, and Harry that says, I, I accept Christ. No. I am the Lord Yahweh, your power. 
and none else. And my people shall never be ashamed. This, this, is this not starting to sound like a, like very possessive language? Or is it, or, or am I crazy? Okay? It's, listen, listen. Are actually all Christians. It's because the so-called blacks and native Indians are following after another god, Jebus. Right. Said about them, such as their little prophecy that they think they fulfill, that we fulfill as black people out of Deuteronomy 28. But what about eating the flesh of our children? I don't recall blacks doing so. when they We're not blacks. OK, and that did happen in the siege 70 A.D. when Jerusalem was surrounded and they didn't have no other food. They ate their children. As a matter of fact, it's in the scriptures. It talks about bowling one son and then, and then you know, and the other uh, uh, woman, the other lady, the other woman supplanted the shit out of the first one. OK, and it's right here in the scriptures. We just read it. Let's see. He told me verse there. He said they're little, you know, because they, they use little words like they're they're little prophecy. That's not a little prophecy. The book, of the, the book of Deuteronomy 28th chapter is a humongous prophecy. And it came true. Yet to this day, we are still yet this day in our captivity. And we under the curses. Matter of fact, here, let's go ahead and read verse 15. But it shall come to pass if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord, Yahweh thy power, to observe to do all these commandments and the statutes which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. What's some of these curses? What's some of these curses? You know, it reads it, right? Look, this dude, he looks like he's a deer in headlights. He's gone, man. Dude is ghost. He don't understand what's going on. All right? So let's go here. Oh, I, <laughs> I took a picture of this the other day. It was it was sort of funny. He said, I love, you know, and that, that that's the spirit. That embodies what? Christianity, really. <laughs> you, you see what that says? Oh, my goodness. Madness. All right? Salakia. So um... Oh, come on. Here we go. See that? Through. See, this right here, this is a uh, documentary on the Northern Kingdom, you know, who the world ignorant calls Indians for some reason. When Indian means savage, that's why it's important to look up your words. All right? This is how through we are. This is how through we are. That flag, that American flag, and they got the he done uh, painted an eagle on it here. Let's get a little bit closer. See that? He done painted an eagle on it, right? They put their trust in this place, man. And in the meantime, they are on what? Reservations. Let's go into it. This is part of the curses. That's why y'all you know, wanted to get to this. And then we'll go back to, uh, to uh, pass the mic. Listen to what he says here. See? You hear what he said? See, that's the curses, right? So what they were doing, what Esau and Eden were doing, was they were trying to recruit, uh, uh, you know, uh, the uh, the uh, Gadites, right? Our Gadite brothers and sisters, to uh, go to enter into the military, and they were doing it for another purpose. Now here it is; they already on, already on reservations. Didn't the scripture say in Micah two and verse one through two? through three that they covet fields and take them by violence already on a, a, a reservation, which is they gave them the, the shittiest and crappiest land they could find. But then they said, OK, we'll go ahead and join our military just so they could do what? Grab the, the rest of the damn land. All right. This you, you, you can't forget. We got enemies. And, and then and there we are. You, t you can't tell me it's a curse. There we are. There, you know, this brother right here is painting a picture with an eagle on it. Proud of it. It, not knowing, <sighs> that shit bothers me. Not knowing that they got enemies. And matter of fact, here, there's, here's another one. And we'll go back to uh, pass the mic. All right. Look at Jake, man. That's Jake. Through. Through. Alcoholism is running rampant through, uh, really through uh, uh, all Israel. But it's really bad uh, up in them Dakotas, man. All right. And there's a little documentary of it, and I, I won't play too much of this. I want to really go back to pass the mic. Let's 
look, look, look. You can't tell me. You can't tell me that these people are not japes. Look at that way. King Cobra. You got a, a, a liquor store, a beer store, and a goddamn bodega. Or whatever we want to call them. A corner store that's ran by uh, uh, the Ishmaelites and Hamites. All right. And then you got a damn. Then you got a nail salon uh, uh, run by them damn uh, 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 slanty ass. You know, you already know what it is. Moab, Ammon, whatever. All right. On every damn corner store. You get, what is that? What do you see there? King Cobra. And what did I say before? What did I say? It said state line liquor. Right. Cold beer. Ice cold beer. It's, it's King Cobra. Bud Light. All right. See? Jake Stu, man. He looked like he was toe up from the flow up. All right, you know, we under the curses, man. And it, it proves that your, your eyes should see these things, man. That we are up under these curses. I don't know what the hell this dude is talking about. Let's continue on. Came here to America but at all. As a matter of fact, so much so that there are even videos where there are other compadres did videos stating that they should have done a better job in handling themselves and said that this was an obvious answer here or there and they didn't look good. Well, I don't think that they ever do. I don't care. Wait a minute. Is this truth? Is, is this uh, what we are uh, involved in? I don't think he knows what he's involved in. Is this about looking good? Is this about mar marching down the street? Boom, 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 boom. Yeah. Your mama was there when you left. You're right. No, it's not about looking good. It's about telling the truth, my man. What's that all about? You worried about looking good and you and you and it's a bad look. Matter of fact, let's do this. What does the Christian church look like? What is a, a oral circumcision rabbis? What the hell is that? You, th you are they looking good? Is uh, is a uh, 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 Catholic, uh, Catholics? Are they looking good? Uh, sending a uh, 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 priest to, uh, that do abominations and things that, uh, that are unseemly to Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, passing them around every parish. Is that looking good? Did Eddie Long look good? Huh? Did, you ever been swallowed? See? Why ain't you talking about them? Yeah, let's, let's type this in. <laughs> look, Eddie. Eddie. Eddie Long. Let's type that in. Scandal. Let's see what this is. And you how about Shimmy I took his ass out. What's this Eddie Long? You ain't, what you, that ain't, that's not a good look, bro. You know, craft low dollar. Let's dance on this money. Bernice King, women pastors. That ain't a good look neither. Bishop Eddie Long, scandal. He wanted uh, an SEX in church. Okay? Uh, brothers pulling out uh, uh, pew pews and pow pows uh, uh, in, the, in that harlot house. Dancing around like a bunch of monkeys. Is that a good look? Huh? Is that looking good? This guy, man. I think that's him. I don't know. That's Jamal Paris, one of the youngest men accusing Bishop Eddie Long of. Uh, that's not a good look, bro. That's not a good look, man. All right. It's not a good look. The the crusades and and all that under the banner of what? Jesus Christ. All the wars, fought, money, oil, drugs, under, under the banner of, of what? You know, America, which is Babylon, a spiritual Sodom and Egypt. All under the banner of what? Christianity. Huh? That is that a good look? Salakia. I had to. I couldn't help myself. This is not a good look, man. All right. If it's the top or the bottom of the Hebrew Israelites, I don't care which sect it is. Whether it's the IUIC, I think, the GM, GSM, I'm not sure the different names. GSM. Did you hear that? He said GSM. How you gonna mess that up? Come on, dog. Dog, you know what they say in the world, dog, you know? How you gonna, GSM, it was a global positioning system, no, uh, GSM. How, how do you mess that up? It's great millstone, bro. All right? <sighs> Rather, it's IUIC, that's a big difference. You know, a one group totally sold out, got a 501c3, and won't even utter the names of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Okay? And the other group has 100% truth. That's what's up. Let's continue on. But there really is no point in having conversation with someone who is not going to listen. Well, wait a minute. He just said 
There is no point in having a conversation with somebody who is not going to listen. And who is famous for not listening to any scripture that you want to give them? All right. I, 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 we don't debate with people. Not at all. Right. The, the debate is stupid and it gets you nowhere. But what did he say? They're not going to listen. And the scripture said, turn your shoulder or uh, shake off the dust of your feet. Let's go there. Scripture tell you, and, and, and you know, he's right about that. I'll give, I'll give him that. He's right. Ain't no sense in talking to anybody who's not going to listen. It's a fruitless conversation. There's no edification to be brought out of, out of that. It's in Matthew 10 and verse 14. And whosoever shall not receive you, nor hear your words, when you depart out of that house or city, shake off the dust of your feet. So, yeah, he was absolutely 100% correct about that one. So, saying that, here he is. Debating a Hebrew Israelite. Ain't that something? A double minded man is unstable in all his ways. All the ones that are believing in him. Ha, I mean, I'm sorry. Hina pas ha pistuan eis auton me apolates, which means all. Nigga, that's Yiddish. Come on, man. The ones that are believing in him will never perish. The distinction is not made between Jews and Gentiles, it's all, it's all inclusive. In Genesis 12 um, and 3, that's actually uh, referring to the nation of Israel. Right. You hear that? that? Did you hear that? That's actually referring to the nation of Israel. That's what he doesn't understand. That's why I read the scriptures, you know, and they're still pulled up. That he erred not knowing the scriptures. He doesn't understand. It's whether Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai has what? Scattered us. Let's, let's go there. Let's see. Uh, Salakia. Something else I want to get. All right, this is part of the curse. It's a book of Amos 3 and verse 1. Hear this word. Did you hear what he just said, right? This It, 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 it didn't make a distinction. It said the, the Gentiles and, and the J-E-U-U-U's are the ones who, go, who come to Christ. They are the ones who are going to be saved. No, it's the Israelites. In Genesis 3, uh, 3, 3 and verse 12, I think that's what they were reading. It's talking about the Israelites. And there's a guy on the right hand side of him that he is debating after he said, what's the point? Because they're not going to listen. Right. Is a, apparently is a Hebrew Israelite and he got it right. That's talking about the children of Israel. Let's read it. Amos 3 and verse 1. Hear this word that the Lord Yahweh have spoken against you, O children of Israel. That didn't say everybody. He didn't change. He didn't he never change that. See, against you, O children of Israel, against the whole family, all of us which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, you only have I known of all the families of the earth. Therefore, will I punish you for all your iniquities, period, point blank. Let's read verse three. It's simple and plain. Jake It's right here in your face. You can't get around it. You only have I known. Therefore, will I punish you, right? And what comes behind that? Redemption, savior. Huh? Deliverance from what? The enemies. That cannot be saved. As it is written, so shall it be done. Can two walk together except they be agreed? And these two can't agree. So what the hell are they walking together for? That's why you shouldn't be debating. It's absolute madness and it's stupid. Genesis 12 and 3, right? Um, no, no, you're not listening. You're not listening. You you are making, you're, okay, listen. He says, he's talking about Israel. And if I can just get there. He, but he says, through you, all the nations of the world shall be blessed. Right. All right. So he said, through you, all nations of the world shall be blessed. That's the truth also. But how so? Let's read about it. They're going to be blessed in certain ways. Let's see. Uh, yeah, I still had that 60 and verse 12. Yeah. <laughs> see, and, and notice what he did. Notice what he did. All right. He went and he, he went and before this debate or whatever he's doing claims himself to be defending the gospel. What did he say? He said, there's no reason for debate because they won't listen. But hold on now. As soon as the Hebrew Israelite brother said, well, that's talking about Israel. And then he wanted to go to the scripture and mark it and, you know, and read it out and explain it. He cut him off. He cut him off. You can't make this shit up. Matter of fact, here, let's go back. Let's let's, let's listen to it one more time. Pistuan, ace outton me apolates, which means all the ones that are believing in him will never perish. The distinction is not made between Jews and Gentiles. It's 
all is all inclusive. No, it's not in all Genesis inclusive. Twelve um, and three. That's actually uh, referring to the nation of Israel in Genesis twelve and three, right? Um, no, three. no, you're not listening. You're not listening. You hear that? See how he just cut them right off? See, they think they know something, but don't know a goddamn thing. This is Book of Isaiah sixty and verse ten. Yes, sir. All right. You know, the only nation that will not be blessed yet at all are, are, are the Edomites, man. These other nations, they're going to go back. They're going to get the blessing. They're going to go back to their lands. All right. They're going to be they're going to be able to live some, you know, somewhere in peace. This is the kingdom of heaven. All right. But they're going to have to serve us, man. Straight up. They're going to have to serve us. They're going to have to live by Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah's law. And, and you know what? It's going to be one hundred and forty four thousand mighty men governors, you know, that's going to show them what to do. And if they don't, we're going to, get ready. We're going to read it. We're going to read it right here. All right, let's go to the scripture. Isaiah 60 verse 10. Because he said, through uh, the scripture said, through, uh, the, it's through the Israelites, all the nations are going to be blessed. Now, hold on now. Esau eat them. He's, we're going to meditate tear day and night on his ass for a thousand long, arduous years. And then he's going to be done away with. So that ain't no damn blessing. And, the, and I guarantee you, the main thing, the main frame with these with Christianity is, is trying to save that goddamn devil, man. See? You, you are making, you're, you, okay, listen. He says, he's talking about Israel. And and if I can just get there. He, but he says, through you, all the nations of the world shall be blessed. So he... What a what a dumbass, man. Isaiah 60, verse 10. And the sons of thy strangers shall build up thy walls. What? See that? And you, they gonna also have to clean up the carcasses, too. All right. And their kings shall minister unto thee. For in my wrath I smote thee. But in my favor. What does favor mean? Huh? I ha have I had mercy on thee. It's talking about the Israelites. Therefore, thy gates shall be open continually. They shall not be shut day nor night. The, the, uh, uh, that men sh may bring forth the forces of the Gentiles. Did you hear that? And that their kings may be brought. For the nation and the kingdom that will not serve thee shall perish. Yea, those nations shall be utterly wasted. So yeah, you know, these the other nations, they're going to they get their lands back. All right. They're going to bring uh, uh, they're going to be mining the si silver and gold and tons and three and tons, hundreds of thousands of tons, millions of tons of gold. And they're going to bring us their damn daughters and they're going to bring us their goods. All right. And they are going to serve Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. All right. And we're going to be sitting, you know, it's, uh, uh, hopefully I'm a part of that number judging the 12 tribes of Israel. Let's go there. Let's go there. What does the scripture say? Huh? All right. With a two edged sword in their hand. Didn't the scripture say that? This guy has no idea, man. Matthew 19, verse 28. And Hamashiach Yahabashah said unto them, Verily, I say unto you, that ye, what? That ye which have followed me in the regeneration, when the Son of Man shall sit in the throne of his glory, ye also shall sit upon 12 thrones, judging the 12 tribes of Israel. Hello? This guy, is, this, this guy is completely bugged out. Speaking about Israel, and he's speaking about the rest of the world as well. And he's talking about Israel. And and if I can just get there? He, but he says, through you, all the... Uh, again, is he referring to the people in the unholy land? Hmm. You got to think about that for a moment. Nations of the world should be blessed. So he's speaking about Israel, and he's speaking about the rest of the world as well. You cannot leave out goyim. You cannot take that out. As a matter of fact, what does the word Abraham mean? It means the father of nations. Well, how many nations? Um, how many nations is Israel? That's one. He uses the plural. This okay. Guy. Do you do you do Damn. you understand Hebrew? Uh, no, I, I do understand Hebrew. But at the end, okay. Is my question. So wait a minute. It, is he talking about? This, see, this, this, this guy is all over the place. He thinks he, he's got a leg up. He has, he has no leg up at all because he doesn't understand. He said it's all inclusive. It's not all inclusive. And now he's going into, he said, now do you understand Hebrew? What he's got pulled up is Yiddish. All right? Which is a bastardized, really a bastardized language between, uh, uh, I believe it's German and, uh, and real Paleo-Hebrew. And the shit was changed by Am uh, Amalekite, man. I forget what his name was. Damn. Uh, 
I sort of want to look that up. Let's see if we can find that. He took it upon himself to change. Yeah, Elazar Ban Yahuda. All right? Ain't no, you, ain't no use. My goodness. And the making of modern Hebrew is right there. You see? Look at that devil. He's a demon, man. How proud do you have to be? You can go back to the book of Obadiah and read that. How proud do you have to be as a person to change the pure language? Let's go there. Because he said he's going to turn us back to a pure language. I'll probably close out on that. I don't want to hear no more of this dude. Uh, and Yahweh Bashim Yahushai is power in, uh, in the pure language. Let's go here. We'll close out right here. Zephaniah 3 verse 9. For then will I turn the people a pure language that they may all call upon the name of the Lord Yahweh. You got to know what his name is to serve him with one consent. Now we can go back and read it again. Can two walk together except they be agreed? And the answer is hell no. All right. No pun intended. <laughs> oh, man, this is crazy. Hopefully that, this lesson was edifying, giving all praise, honor and glory to Yahweh. Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai, Baha Shem, Rakaha, Kwadash. Yet again, double honors to the men who rule well. All right. Healthy Shalom to the brothers that are out there doing the work in truth and sincerity, man. This guy, he doesn't have it. He doesn't understand. You can tell he looks he, look, he looks like he's gone, man. He looks like he's gone. And again, there's a multitude of scriptures I could get just to let you know he is gone. You, all you got to do is look at him. You got, you know, the Michael Jordan bald, you know, shaved bald, damn straight razor. You know, it's crazy, man. Anyhow, yeah, again, hopefully this lesson was edifying. And every chance you get, chant this place down on every weak ass and false philosophy that will fall under the spirit and power of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. All right. Chant this place down. Quam Yasharala. And why a Bible ball? Boom. Shalom. Look at this guy. Gone, man. There's my thumbnail right there. <laughs>